Next question is from Fretted Wheat. I'm trying to improve my posture, but find myself uncomfortable when I forcibly hold myself in a neutral position. Am I trying too hard? What are the best ways to improve posture? Okay, so posture, daily posture is not a conscious thing. Okay, so one of the one of the problems with people who say, I'm gonna fix my posture just by being mindful and trying to stand up straight all day long. What torture. Like imagine all day long yeah. thinking about, oh, got to fix my posture, got to fix my Turns posture. Turns you in, like neurotic immediately. It does. Posture's natural. Okay, good posture happens naturally. Now, the, the point, the, the key is getting to good posture that happens naturally. The way you do that is by strengthening the muscles that support good posture and helping to loosen the muscles that may or maybe are tight that are producing bad posture. Basically, you want to create an environment to where your posture is naturally good, so you don't have to think about it all the time. Here's the other problem with consciously thinking about fixing your posture. If you don't have a good connection to the muscles that are producing good posture, you're going to do so with compensations that can cause lots of problems. People who do this oftentimes have stiff necks by trying to stand up straight, not realizing that they're activating muscles that probably shouldn't be activated so strongly just because they have weak other muscles that should be doing most of the work. So you want to have good posture naturally. You don't want to have good posture because you have to think about it all the time. It doesn't work that way. Well, that being said, I think there's some value in in, in recognizing when you're you know exaggerating poor posture. For example, um, I do this all the time. Uh, we we just uh, drove a you know three and a half hour drive uh, the other day, and you know I after about a half hour of driving, I mean I find myself like slouching more and more into the car, and the next thing I know, I feel my low back starting to kick in, and I you know I just pay attention, I realize how I'm sitting, and I just readjust myself. I sit all the way back up. I kind of prop my chest up. I normally will start to activate my core and squeeze my glutes a little bit and try and you know counter a little bit of the the, the bad be behavior that I've been doing for the last hour and a half. So I do think there is some value. I mean, I used to do the same thing when uh, when I when I realized that I had excessive pronation on one of my one of my feet, right? So my foot would collapse in. You know, now becomes a habit that every time since I you know pee probably four to six times a day, every day at least. Uh, every time I'm standing uh, at the toilet and I'm peeing, I'm also rocking my feet, right? I'm paying, especially the one that is overpronated. So there's there's some value of. Um, in fact, I used to do this thing. I, used to, I mean, I, have never, I don't think I've ever done it on the on the show or on my Instagram. So maybe I'll share this. I used to do this little easy posture check uh, for clients, where I have them stand with their hands by their side, they come up, and then basically what it is what it is is it kind of helps put uh, people into correct posture, and then I would. You know, tell them to hold that position. How's that feel? And some people, it's like, oh my God, this is so hard to feel that. And I would tell them, like, that's how far away we are from from getting you to where we need to be. So just getting them to be aware of where it's at, and then conscious of the things that they're doing that is not helpful. But that's not enough to fix it. To your point, so I mean, that's yeah. that's not going to uh, fix your bad posture. Uh, you know, it's just gonna. <laughs> fucking make you tired all day long from activating those muscles like you're saying you've got to do the corrective work inside the gym and this is you know this is why uh, we did prime i mean this is what prime is all about because we know that you know 90 percent of our clients that we trained this was a majority of the conversation i don't care what your goal is the losing 30 pounds building 20 pounds getting great at your bench press jumping higher running faster it doesn't matter everybody i train regardless of what their goal was i had to address posture mm -hmm. i had to help them with that just because we all have these habitual things that we do every day that uh, is not uh, advantageous for having a good good posture and so we have to counter that inside the gym by strengthening certain ex uh, uh, st certain muscles and stretching others and so a good trainer can take a client, assess their posture, see where those deficiencies lie, and then integrate exercises and movements in their workout routine and that they can do at home and outside of that that will start to counter that bad posture. And that's why that's why I think that anybody listening right now, if you own any of our programs and you don't own Prime, I think it's ridiculous because that's exactly how I would train every single client, no matter what their goal is. That element is implemented into every single program that I've ever written. 
Yeah, I also think too. Like, I I totally agree. I don't want to be neurotic about it throughout the day and like try to like micro adjust and make sure I'm always like nice and you know neutral back position, everything supported all the time. Uh, but I do want to use that as a reminder to get back to uh, certain rituals that I have found it from doing those tests and from you know going through a lot of the mobility exercises that highlight deficiencies and highlight things that uh, if I don't address them constantly will start to create uh, tightnesses and then pains that I'm going to suffer from if I don't, uh, you know, put the work in. So uh, there's there's certain things I'm sitting all the time. I'm driving all the time and, and I have to be conscious that my foot tends to externally rotate. And now this, this keeps placing a lot of pressure up the kinetic chain. And so, you know, when it gets up to where it gets tight, it gets up to my hip, it gets up, you know, in certain places where I really feel if I have been neglecting, uh, you know, trying to counter that. And so, uh, uh, I just I try to use that as as a reminder that I need to really put in place a few times a day where I I go through those specific mobility exercises to to, to strengthen and, and counteract that, but also then apply that to my workouts so we can then strengthen around the hole to pull your body back in optimal alignment. 